Hello, I'm Rick Craig. I'm the current chairman of the board of the Community Foundation of Gaston County. The job of the board of directors is to honor the mission of the Community Foundation. That mission is to be the leader in philanthropic giving by connecting donors to community needs to enhance the lives of current and future generations. What follows are highlights of how our Community Foundation cares, connects, and contributes in our community. I'm Erin Wiggins. 2017 was my first year at the Community Foundation as the RUN Director and as the Teens Changing Gaston County Coordinator. As a newcomer to Gaston County, I was interested to see how the concept of caring for a community would come together through the implementation of an event like the RUN. I was pleasantly surprised when more than 200 volunteers came together to make the Community Foundation RUN possible. I was even more surprised when the community responded to the needs of 144 nonprofits raising over $1 million. The Community Foundation partners with the YMCA to offer a program that trains teens on how to read, write, and award grants to worthy service projects in the community. This program teaches youth the value of philanthropy and giving back to the community. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Patton. As the Grants and Scholarships Officer, I work with donors who provide needed scholarships to students. Through the scholarship application process and the annual competitive grant cycle, I see many of our community's needs and how your foundation is connecting donors with these needs. The Next Generation Fund is another wonderful way to connect with community needs. The Next Gen is a giving circle, allowing donors to pool their resources, collectively award grants, and make a larger impact. Because of our members, the next gen is making a difference in Gaston County. Over $154,000 has been granted back to our community in next gen's 17 year history. All while, the fund was growing to over 243,000. This year was a very special year. We had our first TCGC member transition to a next generation attendee. TCGC, as Erin stated, is a teen philanthropy program held in collaboration with the YMCA. Spence Newcomb participated in TCGC throughout high school, went off to college, has returned back to Gaston County, and is now participating in Next Gen. This is what it's all about, creating a culture of philanthropy. You are invited to join the Next Gen today and start connecting. Hi. I'm Lori Ness, and I currently serve on the Board of Directors of the Community Foundation. I'm also a member of the Development Committee. Several years ago, my good friend Ron Seitz told me about the Community Foundation and how he and his wife Janet have a donor-advised fund that they use to manage their giving. My husband and I now have a fund at the Community Foundation and enjoy the benefits of giving via the Foundation. As a board member, I've also learned about the impact that the foundation has in this community. I know the importance of giving back and being a part of something larger than a single gift. I would like to introduce the 2017 recipient of the Allen H. Sims Award, Mr. Charlton Torrance. Mr. Torrance is no stranger to Gaston County. He has been involved in philanthropy here for all of his adult life. Well, thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. 
You have been involved in so many nonprofit organizations in Gaston County. What has been your means of determining which agencies to support? In other words, how do you decide what areas to focus on? Uh, well, besides the uh, nonprofits that I give to locally, I used to give outside Gaston County and North Carolina, but now I try to concentrate primarily uh, in North Carolina and primarily in Gaston County because I feel our needs are just as important as elsewhere. I prefer to give to a, a local agency, whether it be the Red Cross or Heart Society or whatever, rather than its counterpart in other parts of the country because I like to see the money being used here in, in Gastonia, Gaston County. The question really for individuals and foundations is not whether to give uh, small amounts to many uh, nonprofits or to give large amounts to uh, uh, a few larger ones like the new YMCA, mm -hmm. uh, the Shield, Daniel Stowe Botanical, uh, my church, Crisis Assistance, uh, Gastonia Potter's House. And we all have favorites, you know, that we like to give to. And, uh, but I try to pick the ones that I think will help Gastonia, Gaston County, and North Carolina the most. What would you say has been the greatest benefit or joy you have gained from your involvement in the nonprofit arena? Well, Rick, you should know this yourself because <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is when you and I went over to Holy Angels in, in Belmont. And I had never been through that before. Really amazed at the dedication and love that these uh, employees and the staff and the volunteers uh, showed to those children. I mean, it was just amazing to me. And then uh, another thing that we didn't go together, but you showed up was down at Gaston Skills oh. on there. And we went down there, we were uh, giving them a, a check from the Community Foundation. They were being taught skills where they could go out to industries there in Gaston County and, uh, and enable them to go and be a, to different industries and be a part of their uh, daily workforce. And it, it just made you feel good. And I thought that was great. And they had such comradeship and all, but you know, uh, that's what I, the two I enjoyed. Oh, well, that's good, that's excellent. What advice would you have for a young person just getting started in community work or to anyone that is considering getting more involved? I don't think there's anything better than the uh, next generation fund yes. on that. And it's been an excellent and a successful group for several years now. And they uh, provide volunteer opportunities uh, for projects that have been funded by Community Foundation. And uh, they meet every so often and they have really fun parties but serious parties at, at one of the members homes and they decide on what project they're going to undertake next. Young couples and individuals, I uh, would recommend that they start a donor advised fund at the, at the uh, community foundation as soon as they can and add to it when they can. And so, uh, or they could give to their favorite uh, nonprofits or to an unrestricted or other fund at Community Foundation. That's great. That's uh, great advice, Tony. All right. Thank you. Mr. Torrance is a fine example of someone that cares, connects, and contributes to our community. This year, your foundation made the largest gift in the history of the foundation to the community. This gift will be for $1 million to be paid over five years for the building of the new YMCA on Robinwood Road. The board is particularly excited about this gift because it touches so many people in our area and serves the community in many ways. By opening the fund, joining the Legacy Society, joining the Giving Circle, or participating in the Community Foundation Run, you will make a difference. We invite you to care, connect, and contribute to your foundation, your future.